Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we have the 6 versus 11 matchup. That'll be Georgia at number 6. Ignore these numbers down here, please. Just don't pay attention. I'm going to say 4 and 5. But it's 6 versus 11. The winner of this matchup will go on to play Clemson. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys are having a very merry holiday season. Not Merry Christmas. Not sure when this video is going up. Uh, but I do hope you guys are having an awesome Christmas season. Uh, we are... I'm probably somewhere doing something right now. But you guys are having a fantastic time. So we are going to jump back into game six. This is game six of the 16-team college football playoff. Georgia and Utah. We're about to find out if this Utah team is legit. Viper player, what's up? How you doing, man? How are you doing, bro? Tato chip. Viper, I'm pretty sure your team's playoff game is next. Pretty sure they're yeah. Your team, Penn State, plays Baylor next in this playoff. So after this game, Penn State's up. In case you're curious. Got Jake Fromm and the dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Taking on this stout Utah defense. I think Georgia's defense is better than Utah's. So, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. We've got our controller to drive us through this game. Oh, I did not mean to play. Can I super sim? Alright, we're going to play the kickoff. I'm going to hope to kick it out of the end zone. I didn't mean to do this, guys. Oh god, now I gotta make a tackle. I hope this doesn't affect the outcome of the game. Oh, it's fine. It's the 27-yard line, so we're gonna win the whole thing. Hey, man, you gotta get past that stout Baylor team first, so we'll see. We'll see. If you don't stick around, this will be up on YouTube on YouTube.com slash Eclipse US. Um, so, if you don't get to check it out here, make sure to check it out there. It'll all be coming out over Christmas break. Alright, I don't want to play. You want to go jump into the next play? I'm excited. I think that Utah, uh, the Baylor Penn State game will be fun. I'm also excited about this game to see, uh, see how Georgia versus Utah can do. Georgia is going to get the ball first, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Fromm is going to find DeAndre Swift. Um, I'm, I'm looking to see him pound the ball. And Jake Fromm is going to find George Pickens down the field for 17 yards and right back to that run game on the ground. And they're going to run it three times and get nothing. No, they ran it twice, excuse me. And Jake Fromm threw on third down and was batted away. And that'll be a stop from this Utah team. As Rodrigo Blankenship is going to attempt a 60-yard field goal. And it will get blocked by this Utah team. So Utah will get the ball at midfield here. And Zach Moss, the big dog, is going to go right to it. Tyler Huntley is going to find Britton Covey for 21 yards. And they are now inside that Georgia 25-yard line. And the dogs are going to find Tyler Huntley and sack him. For a loss of 7 there to bring up 2nd and 17. He will get those seven yards back. I think it's tied in. Cole Father Fatheringham. Father Fatheringham. Father Fatheringham. Cole. He found Cole. Uh, he's going to find Cole. And they're going to bring up third and nine, ladies and gentlemen. And they're not going to go anywhere. Tyler Huntley's pass is going to be batted away by middle linebacker Monty Rice. And they're going to have to kick the field goal. And Utah will take the early lead here. Three to zero. And the dog's going to get it back. Let's see what Jake Fromm, D, um, Drake Swift can do. They're going to find Lawrence Cager. Kager, Kager, Kager. They're going to find him about 20 yards down the field. It'll be an offsides penalty against John Pen Penny Sinny. Penny Sinny! Penny Sinny. Um, they are, they're throwing the ball quite a bit today. There will be a pass interference call down the field on Francis Bernard. Good thing he did that because he was probably about to give up a touchdown, if we're being honest. Um, he's going to find Lawrence Kager again. Down to the one-yard line. First and goal for the dogs here at the one. And they are going to just hand it to DeAndre Swift and say, Go to work, big dog! The dog's going to take a 7-3 lead here. They're going to give to Zach Moss a few times here. Now, that was the quarterback, I think. Well, I don't know who carried that. It was probably a receiver. But after three runs, they will pick up a first down. And a nice pass out to midfield here as they have entered UGA territory. As Cole is going to catch the ball for 15 more yards. Let's see if Utah can keep the ball moving here. 
Or if the stout Georgia D can get a stop. Zach Moss pretty much having his way today. Some nice carries. Man, he's getting... Zach Moss is absolutely eating this Georgia defense alive. And at the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be 7-2-3. Georgia. But Utah is inside the Georgia 30 and driving. We'll see if what they can do. And Zach Moss is going to go 29 yards to the house to make this game 10-3. Utah out on top here. Jake Fromm, DeAndre Swift and company. Jake Fromm, I'm going to find Demetrius Roberts, Robertson for 26 yards. What a catch out past midfield now. Absolutely fantastic. And after a whole lot of nothing, a run that'll bring up third down and six. Is Jake Fromm going to scramble, get a few there? Going to be Georgia and Penn State. Well, I mean, you guys are on the same side of the brackets. The most Georgia and Penn State could do would be meeting in the final four, I think. Yeah, final four. So, you couldn't meet the natty. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Big problem. He's going to throw that pass away there on third down at six. And it will bring up the punt. But they will go for it. Rodrigo Blankenship, the fake. And he's going to pass it to Eli Wolf, the tight end, for the 11 yards. They faked the field goal after he missed the 60-yarder. And UGA is still driving here. Big problem is going to find his wide receiver, Demetrius Robertson. Demetrius Robertson yet again. And Georgia will score to make this game 14-10. We're going to give the ball back to uh, Zach Moss, Tyler Huntley, and Utah here. Zach Moss is going to go a whole lot of nowhere on that first play. Uh, Britton Covey is going to get a few yards on the wide receiver sweep out to the right there. And Tyler Huntley is going to find Britton Covey for the pass, but after that loss of yardage, they're not able to find much. So they will punt it away back to this Georgia team. Up 14-10. Ooh, and on second down, DeAndre Swift. They are pinned down deep in their own end zone. That'll bring up third and four. Let's see if they can get out of there. And it looks like they will as he's going to find Charlie Werner for six yards to tie it in. And let's see if they can get it moving now. Jake Fromm with a few passes. He'll get it moving. And Jake Fromm actually going to use his legs there to pick up the first down. Jake Fromm going to look downfield for George Pickens as they're going to move this ball onto Utah's side of the field. A lot of people after that Pac-12 championship game said Utah was overrated. They've got a chance to change that today. But Jake Fromm and the boys have first and goal with the seven here. Let's see if this Utah defense can make a stand, ladies and gentlemen. And it's not looking like it is UGA going to Ugga and the boys going to punch it in yet again. As we near the half here, Utah got to find a way to get some points here. Maybe making an eight-point game with a field goal. They're going to hand it off to Zach Moss. Tyler Huntley is going to find Damari Simpkins for 13 yards out to the 40-yard line. They've got plenty of time. Three timeouts and a minute 26 here. And they will pick up another first down, finding Britton Covey, who's had a nice, nice day. Uh, Tyler Huntley's found him quite a few times here. Uh, and that is going to be thrown away by Tyler Huntley, who is not going to be able to find his receiver. He's going to find Brian Thompson for six yards. That'll bring up third down and four here. They could use about another 10 yards to get him in field goal range. And they're going to get it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to find Cole. Cole again. And. Oh, what a pass. Tyler Huntley's going to find Britton Covey down to the 11-yard line. Oh, with two seconds left, they're at the four. Do you go for the field goal? They are going to take the field goal. And that'll bring us to halftime. So I'm watching a, a G League game, and it's 69-69. Like, NBA G League, or like... The EA Sports League, the G like, and the Bucks beat the Lakers. Did they beat them, or is it in the fourth quarter right now? I thought it was in the fourth quarter still. I know Giannis was going crazy. Wow, what a first half here. We've got 21-13. Uh, Georgia has no, had no problem putting up points here today. But Utah will get the ball first here to start the half, and that is not... A false start by Damari Simpkins is not how you want to start to have NBA. Who, what G League teams are are they? And a, Tyler Huntley going to get sacked. So that will bring up second and 20 now. Three negative yardage plays in a row. Tyler Huntley sacked back-to-back -back times. His dog's defense came out here to play. And they will not be able to pick up that on third and 24th. They beat them. Oh, okay, I didn't know this was over yet. Uh, looked like a fun game. Lakers got back in it after being down 19. Um, Eric Stokes going to return it for 10 yards. George Pickens going to drop the pass from Jake Fromm there. And then they will get negative yards as Jake Fromm going to take the sack there from Bradley Anai. 
And we have third down and 12, and they will pick it up. Ladies and gentlemen, Demetrius Robertson again, 20 yards down the field. Robertson, Robertson's had a fantastic day today. And then they're going to hand it off to him on the sweep play, and he's going to pick up six. Uh, so we're they're, they're moving and grooving here. As Jake Fromm is going to take that sack on third down and three. And that will bring up fourth and ten from the 39. Do you punt it away here? No, they're going to kick a 56-yard field goal from Rodrigo Blankenship. So you're more of a LeBron guy or a Giannis guy? Austin Spurs and the College Park Skyhawks. Oh, cool. You have, like, league pass to be able to watch G League games? Utah has to get something going here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see. Tyler Huntley is going to find Damari Simpkins. And then they're going to lose 10 yards on the holding play on the right tackle, all the same. But they are going to get it all back there. So he's going to find Cole to tie it in to outside once again. And then more negative yardage. Tyler Huntley is going to get sacked. Utah has absolutely killed himself with negative yardage and penalties today, but Tyler Huntley is doing everything he can as he finds Britton Covey for 23 yards down the field and another negative play. Big chunk, negative play. Big chunk, negative play. They cannot seem to win here. And after that five-yard pass, it'll bring up third and nine for the Utes, and they're not going to get it. That'll, that'll bring up fourth and four here. I'm going for it. And they're actually going to kick the field goal. That'll make an eight-point game. They've hit some long, long field goals. I'm more of a Giannis guy, more of a LeBron guy. I don't like the way Giannis was acting in that game, I don't think. I heard he crowned himself after he hit the fifth three. I'm not about it, man. Uh, I know he's been really, really good the last few years. Just prove it on the court. You don't have to, you don't have to celebrate, man. I think LeBron's one of the best to ever do it. And, uh, Giannis is a long way from that still, so... See if uh, these Utes can get a stop. And not with Jake Fromm finding DeAndre Swift 34 yards down the field on slipping out of the backfield. And they're moving the ball right down the field. And he'll find DeAndre Swift 23 yard TD pass. And that'll make it 31 16 here towards the end of the third. And Utah <clears throat> on second and two, going to take an eight yard sack to bring up third and 10. And on third and 10, they're going to get the holding call. But they'll decline it because the pass was incomplete, and they will have to punt it away. See if they can get a stop on Georgia, and Jake Fromm is going to fight Demetrius Robertson for a 79-yard touchdown pass. And ladies and gentlemen, this is turning into the, one of the more lopsided games we have had in this is Utah going to have to punt again. That's fourth down and one. And they're going to go for it. Zach Moss is going to get stuffed. And Georgia just going to hand the ball off now. Oh, Andre Swift will use large. That'll bring up third down and 13. And they're going to keep this ball on the ground here. Kick a field goal, make a 41-16. Oof, this is not good, ladies and gentlemen. Utah had this game at 16-24. to And they've had 17 unanswered from the Hawks. We'll see if Utah can do anything to make this game a little more respectable, and they cannot. Georgia running it, running it, running it. They're going to get a field goal. Rodrigo Blankenship's had a heck of a day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. And they're going to get the 22-yard interception return there. All the way back to the 10-yard line of the Utes. This is this is turned into something else. And they're going to punch that in there. Jake Fromm going to find Charlie Warner. They're still throwing the ball. They're running it up. They're saying, we're coming for you, Clemson. That's got to make you excited, ladies and gentlemen, about this Georgia-Clemson game. As the Utes absolutely getting run off the field here. As they're trying to get some last minute scores. They're moving the ball down the field now. Huntley is finding his man, Britton Covey. Uh, and they are going to punch it in and make this game a little bit closer here with a minute to play. Georgia going to run the ball, run out the clock. And what a game we've had here today, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. Wow. Jake Fromm, 383 yards, four tutties. Turning back the clock is Jake Fromm. What a fourth quarter. What a fourth quarter. Utah was just barely getting beaten every quarter, and then Georgia poured it on in the fourth. I'd love to see the rushing game comparison. Uh, yeah, Georgia, Georgia beat... Utah down in every aspect of this game. Not beat down. The rushing yards were close. But yeah, 51-23. Wow. Wowie. 
And ladies and gentlemen, as always, we are going to jump in here. Take a gander at the stats. Jake Fromm, 25 for 34, 383. And some tutties. He did have a 79-yard TD pass. I think Clemson's going to be Georgia. I think it'll be a fun game. I'm not picking anybody here. Really. I, I would pick Clemson, but we play the games for a reason, you know? Tyler Huntley, 25-38, 307. One tutty, one pick. Rodrigo Blankenship did have that fun trick play. Uh, DeAndre Swift, workhorse, carried it 20 times, 75 yards, two touchdowns. Zach Moss was held to 60 yards on 11 carries. Anybody have a massive receiving day? Yeah, uh, Britton Covey, whose name we called a lot tonight, had uh, 11 catches for 157 and a tutty. It wasn't enough, though, okay? Demetrius Robertson, who we called on a few big plays, six receptions for 157. A lot of these UGA guys had some big plays today. Um, but was the score 51-23? We got to update the bracket now. 51-23. As that has been by far our most lopsided game yet in Utah. Oh, excuse me. I, whew, whoops, my bad. My bad. My bad. Sorry, Georgia fans. There we go. And it holds true. Um, the higher the higher ranked team has won every matchup. Um, we have two games left in the first round of this college football playoff. Baylor and Penn State up next, ladies and gentlemen. In this round of 16. And then to close out, we've got Boise State, Ohio State. But I do appreciate you guys tuning into this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos while I'm gone. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. But until next time, tune in for Baylor, Penn State. It'll be a fun one. Peace.